Actually, I was at, whoa, don't want to show too much. I was at Home Depot, and I was at a garden shop, tomato, gardens, plants, whatever. I was at a garden shop, and uh, I asked how much a 400-watt light was, and he said like $200, and I said, how much to replace that bulb? And he said to replace it every three to six months, and that would be one to $200. And I said, you're crazy. So I found a 400-watt light at uh, – I found a 400 watt light at Home Depot for 21, 22 bucks. But I also found uh, this light right here, uh, Lights of America. It says it's equivalent to 500 watts. Uh, but as you can see here, it's a 65 watt Florex light. It's $15, but just look at the size. Look at the size of that CFL. This is all like blue. It's basically a metal halide light. It's a security light outside, but you can also grow uh, plants with it tomato corn whatever you know it's just a plant light but the thing puts off so much damn light I don't have it hooked up right now because as I was looking for a replacement for that because I had a power surge there's also LEDs don't buy these these are garbage like on eBay they're just what are you gonna do with it 16 watts they're complete crap they're made they're not even good for seedlings if you want good light for seedlings see that light way over there that's a 17 watt light at Walmart you know, it's 17 watts, and it's only like $8, but I don't even recommend that. What I do recommend is CFLs. Uh, CFLs are so badass, but check this one out here. Look at that CFL. You know, say you always see CFLs for uh, about $90 to $125, some are $150. Look at this thing. That thing's about 7 or 8 inches long, and it's it's like... It's, I don't know how, it's probably at least five inches wide. It's just fat, and it's really huge. That's son of, look at that son of a bitch. Look at the ballast on that thing. That was only $15 at Home Depot, and uh, it's a 68-watt light, but it says it's equivalent to a 300-watt light. And one thing I noticed on it here, uh, one thing I noticed is, look at that, 68 watts, 300 watts. Okay, you know how I said 6,500 watt, or 6,500 Kelvin on the, CFLs in the blue. See, that's the blue right there. That's a four-footer. But CFLs, check this out. 2,700K is what you want for flowering your fruits or whatever, your vegetables. 2,700K is perfect. But, I mean, look, I've never seen a CFL this large right there, this large for $14.90, under $15. And these things literally last for years. So even if you had a 400-watt light, you could replace it with three of these, two of these, and they last for years, and you're not building up your heat or your, uh, you know, your heat. You know, if you have a 400-watt uh, light in a room or in a, you know, closet or something like that, this is the ideal closet uh, plant grower right here. Look at that thing. That's just badass. For $14.95, you know, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm getting ready to hook it up. So in the next video... I will show you it up and running, but yeah, that's that's awesome. Look at that. For flowering, you want 2,700K, and for a vegetative states, you want. I'm not trying not to show anything. Vegetative states, you want the uh, blue. See how the one to the left is more ultraviolet. Uh, that's good for like cuttings, and then the, the vegetative right here. That's just 6,500 Kelvin, but I recommend using CFLs because they're cheap. You know. You can get a three-pack at Walmart from 8 to $9, and they last for years. But this one here is it's at least 8 inches long, 9 inches. It's almost a foot long, and it's 6 inches. It's the fattest damn CFL I've ever seen for the price. I've seen these online for like 90 bucks. You know, why would you spend that when you get a Home Depot for $14.95? That's incredible. All right, thanks.